Shalom, my little friends. So, one more little thing here. I believe, this is my 100% personal belief with the Mandela Effect. I believe, see, the colons went missing. The little bitty two dots that, that separate the numbers and the letters, the, the numbers and the words. Um, I noticed that probably about a year ago. I've asked people questions. It might have even been longer than a year ago that I uh, that Jesus, Yeshua Hamashiach, uh, blessed me to see uh, that the, the little dots were missing. Now, mind you, I've been writing Bible verses for years on clothes. I've been doing it for psh, 10 years, 11 years now. So those dots, you know, have all have been there for ever. Everybody knows those dots were there. You write a Bible verse, you know, that separation, there's a separation there. So these dots being removed, I believe these dots being removed is the way, is one of the ways that they're able to change the word. I really do. I think that the word was being, I think that things around us like songs, um, poetry, uh, uh, people's books, you know, that they wrote, I believe that those things were being changed longer than what we could even imagine. I really do. But I really believe that the two dots being removed was when they were able to start changing the word. Um, because this is just a very peculiar thing, you know, why? And so, I've, um, Richie from Boston has um, taught me a lot, well, Yahoo, Yahusha through him, has taught me a lot about demonic sigils. And I've done a lot of research in demonic sigils, and I found out that lo uh, dots and lines um, is how they, you know, uh, manifest or whatever with these sigils. Uh, and, and the thing is, is, um, man, we got these everywhere, you know, these dots and lines. I mean, what is that, the button that you click to share your stuff? It's three dots that kind of make a, si a half triangle or whatever. I mean, two lines, three little dots. Um, every time I see it, I think of a demon. Every time, it's it's very peculiar. So, I know that these phones are possessed because of the things that they have on them um, that we have to push and press uh, to to be able to operate these phones. And see, it, symbols bring power just as much as words are powerful. So them having these symbols all over and we're constantly having our eyes on them, pushing our fingers with them, you know, it, it's got these demons around us. I mean, that's why I refuse to carry one of these phones around with me on a constant basis. I, just, I refuse to commit to one of these things. Will not. Praise Yahusha. That the word being changed is... Um, it is a powerful thing. I've seen where it's turned people completely away, this Mandela effect, and I've seen where it's made people just just so much more of a faith that they they can't be broken because of the Mandela effect. But I've had many battles with some pastors over this Mandela effect, um, and one is a lot of the reason why we left that church. I mean, just straight up because of the Lord's Prayer. I mean, I started with the Lion and the Lamb. Jesus started, you know, waking me up to it. I shared some of the church, and, and they tried to get me to be quiet. Well, things died down, and then here come the Lord's Prayer one day, and, and I asked the whole congregation to stand up and speak about it, and, and then all of a sudden they're uh, telling me that I need to be quiet and, and start talking to the pastor, asking him to, to uh, before I speak to everybody else. Um, that's just not right. That's, that's keeping the Holy Spirit quiet. It's hard for these, especially as older folks, to believe that the Mandela Effect is real. But if we could just pray more about the Holy Spirit, Wind, and Breath leading us to see where in the Word it talks about this Mandela Effect changing, you know, happening, then um, if the Word declares it, then it's real. It happens. It's going to happen. I haven't heard anyone spoke about bones in the Word bones in Jude 9 Michael and Satan the devil is disputing with Michael wanting the body of Moses it's his body now but it's actually bones I know it was I, I would love for other people to give me their comments because bones is very specific 
bones um, is the last thing to go with the body and it is just a, a in the occult it's a powerful thing and whenever I was praying many many miles of walking and praying asking Jesus why this is before it got changed I, I don't remember when bones it was changed to body but why why would he want the bones and then all of a sudden Jesus woke me up to to Jeremiah chapter 8 and, and I've tried to do videos in Jeremiah chapter 8, and there's just so much there linking to Revelation chapter 8 that it's just, it, it, I'm not, Jesus just doesn't have me ready to do that one yet. And praise you, he's just not ready to do it yet. It's just not time. He'll, in his appointed time, he will. But these bones, it, it being changed, you know, they're going to bring out and spread these bones before the, the hosts of heaven, the sun and the moon and all the stars, the hosts and they've worshipped, it says. And, and they're going to be for dung upon the face of the earth. But they're going to spread them upon them. And then it goes on down, you know, in chapter 8 and talks about the cockatrice. And the, uh, the serpents and the cockatrice and how they will not have a, a charm on them. The charm will be off of them. And, and I believe that that's how these demons, you know, will be able to come and, and, and hear or, or these fallen angels, um, you know, be able to come here on the earth and, and be in a form um, because the charm has been lifted off of them. Um, maybe that's the key to the bottomless pit, you know, when that key is opened up and the bottomless pit opens up, maybe that's when the charm has been lifted off of I'm not sure yet. I just know that um, the Word of God speaks about this stuff. And, and bones are very powerful. Uh, I believe it's in 2 Kings. I can't remember what verse, but 2 Kings is a very interesting book. And he talks about the bones that were spread um, on the altar and the man's bones that were burnt on the altar. And these bones I'm talking about in, in Ezekiel, um, Jeremiah 8, it is bones of, of priests and kings and, and prophets and um, it's bones of, of men so there's there's a significance there there's something going on here so bones are very powerful and specific and I believe that Lucifer wanted the bones of Moses because Moses directly to talked to you who are God Almighty and if it's the last thing to go, they say that, that the, your story's kind of still in your bones. Your, your, maybe they think your soul's in there still. I don't know. I haven't done much research on it. That's a lot of the reason why I haven't spoke about this much. I just really want to, to get more information about it. Maybe other people have noticed that it's been changed from body to bones. Because um, this is just a very um, interesting, you know, thing for for it to be changed from bone body from bones to body it was bones it was bones i'm telling you so lucifer wants this power of moses maybe he thought if he got this power of moses that that he would like completely defeat all time and spite you know defeat jesus christ i'm sorry defeat yahoo yahusha if he had the bones of moses because then he'd totally have the testimony left and right you know he would know everything everything but Michael, the protector over Moses' bones, said, nope, you can't have them. Well, Lord rebuke you, actually, is what he said. The powerful, bold, Satan, that is, we do nothing. But then you got, you know, um, Yahuwah never said where Moses was buried. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. And in a way, I feel like that Moses wasn't buried in the promised land. Um, I spoke about this in the last video, why Moses was not buried in the promised land. But I feel like I, even though it was he, it was a punishment because of uh, him not giving glory to you, who God Almighty, I feel like that he wasn't buried there for a reason in the promised land. I feel like that he he was uh, he was just kept somewhere else, you know, um, for this specific reason because Lucifer wore his bones. Well. I hope that y'all um, have been blessed by this, and this Mandela effect can be really scary, but we need to pray more, because, um, like I'm going to keep saying, you know, there's a curse in the back of the book, in Revelation chapter 22, that says a, per a curse to anyone that, that changes the words of the prophecy of this book. So, if there's a curse, it can be done, you know? Alright, y'all have a blessed day in the name of Yahushua.